a result, you have to subsidize more to make the price more reasonable. I'll give the simple comparison. In Thailand, for example, they also subsidize their natural gas. But they subsidize less than in Malaysia. In Thailand, they pay 23 ringgit 10 cents per MMBTU for the natural gas. In Malaysia, after recent price, uh, the recent price hike, they pay 13 ringgit 70 cents. Big difference. Thailand 23.10, here 13.70. So by right, our electricity prices should be a lot lower than in Thailand, significantly lower. Because gas is the single uh, highest cost factor in the generation of electricity. Okay? No. If you use 500 kilowatt of electricity in Malaysia, okay, you pay 157 ringgit. If you use 500 kilowatt of electricity in Thailand per month, you pay 127, 129 ringgit. They are cheaper in Thailand, even though their subsidies are lower. Why? Because they have competition. When they buy electricity, they put it on the website. I want to buy 5,000 megawatt of electricity from this year to this year per annum. Okay? Submit your price online and the cheapest price win. Why cheapest price win? Because I buy electricity from A, electricity from B, both also electricity. Uh, it's not like I buy uh, a, 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 a glass from IKEA and a glass from Maidin, it will be different quality. You know? <laughs> electricity is the same. You know? There's no difference in electricity. So the lowest prices must win. Okay? And that's what they did in Thailand. Here, no. Although we have so many IPPs, every one of their contracts are not competitive. They don't make them compete. I just sign direct with you. Okay, next one I want to do, I sign with you. Next one I want to do, I sign with you. Negotiated directly. So that to me is the very first thing that needs to be done. And to me, that will save a huge load of cost in terms of expenses. The next example, I, I just let, let me elaborate on this a bit more. Next example, your MRT in Malaysia. 53 billion ringgit projected cost. Probably go up further. It has gone up from 36 to 40 to 50 to 53 now, projected. 53 billion ringgit. So assuming you can save 5%, that is 2.5 billion ringgit. Save 10%, that's 5 billion ringgit. That's damn a lot of money to save. Okay? So, must open tender. Najib said, economic transformation program, why not we say all government related projects this time will be open and transparent. Came down from the stage, reporters straight away asking. This was all reported. Ah, uh, so MRT project how? The exact reply. There are just some projects that cannot be tendered openly. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give a reason? Just some projects cannot. Okay? And they did, they gave PDP, they call it project delivery partner, it's actually his main contractor. Project delivery partner, they call it. Okay? To who? MMC Gamuda. Who's MMC? Tan Sri Sat Mukta Al Okay? MMC Gamuda got it. They are the project delivery partners. What does a project delivery partner do? They deal with all the subcontractors. All the subcontractors. So they are, they are, they are, they are the subcontractors submit their proposal, they evaluate who to give to, advise the government to sign. So instead of them awarding direct, they have to advise the government to sign. Okay? I asked in parliament, have the contract been awarded? Yes. How much are they paid? Not finalized yet. <laughs> it's a bit like, you know, I want to renovate my kitchen. Contractor can't. You renovate first, then we talk price later. <laughs> Will you get the best price? No, but that's not the best thing. I said, if you have not fixed the price yet, never mind. What's the mechanism to pay? It will be percentage of project value managed. Oh, percentage of project value managed. Can I? Akao comes, want to build this tunnel, 1 billion ringgit. John comes, want to build this tunnel, 1.5 billion ringgit. Sean comes, wants to build this tunnel, 3 billion ringgit. I get paid by percentage. <laughs> <laughs> Who do I want to? 3 billion now. 3 billion now. It's a system that is structured to inflate cost of construction. <laughs> how, how the hell are they doing this? You know? And then the government tell me, no, 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 no. Final say on who to award to is the government. Now, if I'm MMC, what do I do? You appoint me as project manager. I've recommended Sean to be the contractor for the tunnel. Now, if you want to appoint John instead, you take responsibility. I will not be responsible to there be any delays or mistakes or problems arising from the contract. Given a contract of this nature, can the government afford to take that sort of responsibility? Cannot. So this is how procurement 
is being done at this point in time. To me, 53 billion, the way it's done, should go up. Just wait for us to see. Now the problem is whether the project will even kick off. Okay, because they can't raise the financing. Investors out there not stupid. You see all the numbers that you see just now. They know that they are, they are, they are, the contingent liabilities are there. You know? uh, they have done their surveys. If this thing increased so much, if they can't pay the operational cost of the MRT, what will happen? The premium they are putting on the bonds are very high. So I want to lend you can, but it will be expensive. Then it won't be your 3 to 5%, maybe 6 maybe 7%. Then that is a very high premium to pay, especially if the project is risky. So this is the problem that we face uh, in procurement, and it is the number one thing to resolve. It must be a competitive tender. I got more examples which I'll tell you by the time later. Uh, national health scheme. I actually don't know much about that, but I think all this points down to only one thing. A lot of these schemes like EPF, national health schemes, uh, the Amana Saham National. They're all fairly decent programs on paper. So the only question is the credibility of the manager. It's a bit like you put your money in City Bank or you put your money in Afin Bank. <laughs> no disrespect to Afin Bank here. No? You feel safer where? City Bank. Actually, that's wrong. City Bank collapsed. <laughs> I think that at least the government will build it up. <laughs> <laughs> but that is essentially the, the issue. Whether the, the people managing it are people who are able to do well in it. Okay? Um, yeah. Uh,